Bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalms 34 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Glory to God. Welcome to When Christians Speak Talk Radio, a voice crying out in today's wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. You are listening to Wings of the Spirit. Glory to God. This is your host, Reverend Pat Randall, here with you tonight. And I'm excited about this broadcast. I have a dear brother in the Lord with me tonight. In fact, that song that you just heard, He Is the Way, is by my f- friend and brother, Derek Doc. Pearson, glory to God. And this is from one of his CDs. I think it's on your anniversary CD. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, no greater love. So he's here with me tonight. So I'm excited about that, excited about the show. But I'm going to open up with prayer. As always, let us go before the Father. Lord, we praise you and we magnify your name this evening. We thank you. We thank you that we can boldly and confidently come into your presence, knowing that we are justified. We are in right standing with you because of your dear son and our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. We thank you for another opportunity to lift up the name of Jesus in the earth with this breath that you've given us. We will praise you and your praise will continually be on our mouth. Holy Spirit, I give you full reign and authority during this hour. I thank you that you will be the one that will orchestrate and move us through this hour. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you also for the listeners this evening and the ones who will listen later to the podcast. I thank you, Father God, that a word will be spoken tonight, Father God, that will be life-changing, Lord God. And I thank you that if there is someone listening who does not know you, Lord They will come to know you through this broadcast. I decree and declare that in the name of Christ Jesus. So we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We exalt your name. There is no other God but you. There is no God like you. You are all wise and all loving and your loving kindness and your mercy endureth forever. So we are grateful tonight and we thank you. And it's in Jesus name that we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So before we jump off into the, um, this evening with our guests, I just want to make a few announcements uh, about um, upcoming shows. We've got, um, you know, our August has really been pretty busy, but um, Pastor uh, Paul Morgan, his messages will be aired. Um, in fact, a teaching series and beginning on tomorrow, actually, on uh, declaring the finished work at 12 noon Uh, You will hear one of his teachings, and if you were with me on this past um, Saturday, you would have heard uh, one, uh, just, he well, he was live with me on Saturday, and it was just an incredible time, and he spoke about uh, fear, the F-bomb, he referred to it as, and uh, he has just a tremendous uh, ministry, a tremendous counseling ministry. So go back out there and um, you can download it from iTunes or blueberry.com or you can go to the Blog Talk radio site, When Christians Speak, and 
and access the archives from there. Also, coming up again, um, August 28th, um, Evangelist Louis McElwain. Mac Elwain. He was with me actually on Monday, and we had a broadcast issue at the very end, the last 20 minutes. But he's coming back on the air Friday, the 28th. So, um, he's going to finish his testimony. I'm telling you, it was uh, just an amazing testimony that he was sharing. Glory to God. And then I have my sister, Trinita Thomas. She's an anointed teacher of the gospel. And she just has this anointing, this special anointing for imparting God's love through her messages. And she'll be with me on Monday, August the 24th at 7 p.m. So that's this coming Monday. Uh, our regular broadcast schedule um, Our weekly shows are His Abounding Grace with Minister Vanessa Williams, and that's Tuesdays, every Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Then, of course, Declaring the Finished Work with myself. That's every Thursday at 12 noon. Then we have Friday Night Joy with Reverend Ray and Friends, and that's every Friday at 7 p.m. And on Sundays, Reverend Ray is doing a new broadcast called A Week in Review. He'll go back through some of the the um, the messages from guests that were on and share bits and pieces bites maybe some sound bites from from previous shows and also discuss current events and how we as believers should be responding to the things that we are seeing in this season. Glory to God. Amen. And then we have Alabaster Box Show that comes on once a month, and that's every fourth Saturday at 7 p.m., and Prophet Carla Johnson is the host. I want to remind you about our Facebook pages, When Christians Speak Talk Radio, and our second uh, Facebook page, Christians Against Suicide and Depression. Go out there, like us, uh, be encouraged by by the postings that are out there. And also um, on the When Christians Speak Talk radio page, you'll be able to find out about upcoming guests and uh, the schedule. So, you know, keep 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 abreast with us, you know, keep flowing with us. Also, check out our uh, website, When Christians Speak dot com glory to god and so we're excited about that also we have a, a program that we've entered in with uh amazon.com and so we have now we have a cyber bookstore music and coffee house and at through our website you are able to purchase christian books and and christian music and also we are selling the k cup coffees and this is actually going through amazon but through every purchase that comes through our website a portion of those those sales will go toward the um administrative and production costs for doing this broadcast for we are a 5013c nonprofit corporation so we exist because of of your your loyal and your loving contributions um to the website i mean to the broadcast and if you haven't contributed yet go out to the website and you can find out how you can contribute and we just very much appreciate um you're helping us to, to just to keep the word of God going forth. I mean, that is our main thing is to seek and save the lost through the good news and also to encourage and strengthen our uh, our brothers in Christ. And our secondary mission is to build a communication infrastructure that will connect believers outside of their local ministries so that our vision is increased and and the, the purpose of the body of Christ is unveiled for this season for the advancement. It's all about the advancement of the kingdom of God in the earth is not about us building our kingdom, but it's about building and advancing the kingdom of God 
in the earth and the Lord has made us joint heirs and so we can co-labor with him glory to God so that's an exciting thing and we just have so much to be grateful for so stay in a grateful mind so enough of the announcement let us get into the broadcast glory to God Derek Doc Doc Pearson is an award-winning producer, a songwriter, a musician, a director, and a music publisher. Um, He has been operating, as he says, prolifically in many different areas of music, and I can attest to that and agree to that. I've been knowing this brother for many years, and we attended the same church for many years. Glory to God. Amen. 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 But Doc, he started his career, his early career, he started off as a local artist here in the Washington, D.C. area, and he also moved into being involved as a national artist by composing and recording and producing chart-topping songs for the OJs, the Whisperers, and that's just to name a couple of them, and we're going to hear more about that. He is the uh, president and CEO of his own music company, I Am Music Company. So we're going to hear about his music. He's going to share with us a little bit about his testimony and and um, also information about how you can get these incredible CDs. And we'll listen. We're going to listen to a couple of his songs as well. I think I need to slow down a little bit. I'm talking so fast. Glory to God. But Doc, I know, I know. I'm trying to get it all out. <laughs> That's Glory all right. Though. That's all right. That's all right. We need Amen. it in the kingdom. You're Praise doing God. A wonderful work, and I'm so thankful. And honored to be on with you today. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, you know where I want to start. T- okay. Tell us about, first talk about where you were in the music industry, yeah. in the secular music industry, yeah. and how you how you got saved and moved into um, music, yeah. God's music. Yeah, well... I uh, I started uh, in music when I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. And I'm a long way from that now, but <laughs> when I was a teenager, <laughs> and I had, des- had a desire, I-, I knew as a young teenager that I had a call on my life. And this, I don't know why I'm going here, but it's hoping it would be a blessing to someone. I was disappointed and disenfranchised with church people. Mm-hmm. Um, I had witnesses of pastors that were cheating on their wives and 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 uh, doing all kind of illicit things in the church. And I told the Lord then, Lord, if you if I'm gonna preach the gospel, I don't want to be those kind of preachers. I don't want to be one of those. This is okay if I use music. And of course, God said, Yes, you can preach through music. And of co- that was where I was headed. <laughs> but of course, as a young man, I got off track. And started seeking fame and fortune, uh, started seeking money, popularity, and all those type of things, and um, ended up uh, with some some form, I guess you can call, of success uh, in writing songs for a lot of national artists and things, as well as local artists. But my life was spiraling out of control. Um, um, Everything was going in the wrong direction. I was uh, uh, had was living an illicit lifestyle mm-hmm. from 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 everything you can name. I could go down a long list for you, but it you know it, it's sin. All kind of sin was part of that life, and 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 I come to learn that that's what is in the world. That's all that's in the world. The Bible says that's all that was in the world: is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. And I Amen. was into all that. And and my life was going apart. My marriage was falling apart. My children's lives were falling apart. But I was still saying, you know, this is a great thing. But one day I I happened to stumble across a church. 
and a guy that I was working with at the time invited me to come to church. And I came, and I got saved, and I got <laughs> filled with the Holy Ghost. And, Glory. And um, I really had no interest in music. I wasn't, once I realized that Jesus had been keeping me, and that he had been on my life for so long. And when when things went crazy, he was there. And Amen. he was, was getting me out. Somebody was, as, as the old song, I had a mama that was praying for me. And I <laughs> had people God. praying for me, and, and God was keeping me. And not, not nothing that I did, but he was keeping me. And, and once I realized that, I just wanted to give my life to him. Matter of fact, one time I was in church, and um, in my first church, and mm-hmm. um, they had a company come in to, for, to record their video of their service. And one of the guys on the, in the filming the video knew me from my earlier secular days. Uh-huh. And he said, he said, Doc, what, what are you doing? I said, I'm sitting here trying to learn the word. He said, no, what are you, you're supposed to be up there. Man. And he's running around the church. Do y'all know who that is over there? That's Doc <laughs> Pearson. And I'm like, Shh, please stop, because I really had no interest. In, in music, I, my goal was to know who Jesus was, what yes. his word says, and how I could apply to my life. And I, I had done music. I had had a career, and I knew where that led me. And so I had no interest. But after a few years, the Lord spoke to me and said, now get on up there in the choir and go to work. And uh, so that's, that's kind of my story. Um, God just uh, pushed me back into uh, music field, and um, I, I really didn't have any idea of what I was going to do. I just wanted to serve the Lord with with the gift that He gave me. So that's where I came from. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And we are happy uh, that you heard His voice and you yes, answered. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And the fact that, because I believe that he orchestrated that moment where yeah. uh, that brother saw you and said, well, wait a minute, what are you doing down here? You know, <laughs> exactly. glory to God. And and God, orchest- he orchestrates these moments, you know. He does. He and really does. Uh, yeah, because some, sometimes we, you know, we think that, oh, you know, Listen, I'm done with that. This is the yeah, way that yeah. I'm going, oh, and yeah. uh, and he's saying mm, that's not my plan for you. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's and, that's know, not my pl- that's not my plan. Well, yeah, because I, I've come to learn that that God, the things that you go through, they're for a reason, and God can get the glory out of whatever your situation is. You may mm-hmm. have been a, you may have been, I don't know, you could have been a truck driver, you could have been a a nurse, you could have been anything. But God, there's no place that God doesn't want to use you. So, so where where you are, if you're a nurse on the side of someone's bed, a teacher, a doctor, a musician, whatever it is, a, a journalist, God can use you, and He wants to use you because we need to we need the message of Jesus everywhere. So Amen. be encouraged if anyone I'm speaking out to out there that wherever you are, you can be used of the Lord. Don't think it was just, well, I come from this and I come from that and I don't know what else to do. God can use you. Give whatever gifts you have to him and he can point you in the right direction. As you said earlier, he will order your steps. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we're talking about a God who multiplies. So if you yeah. only have uh, a couple of loaves and, and a few fish, he'll right. take it and multiply. He'll That's multiply right. that thing. And it isn't just about you, the That's person, right. you know, your life experiences and whatever your natural talents and gifts are. God has placed something on the inside of you that is far greater. Yes, yes. No far question. greater. And he may use some of your life experiences and That's your right. natural talents, but That's there right. is something so great within every believer. Yes. That's right. Every believer. That's right. That's right. And, and you know, Doc, I feel like there's a wake-up call uh, mm. being sounded in the earth during this time. Mm. Mm. You know, for yeah. believers to yeah. wake up and 
see who they are because right. the enemy sees who they are, which is right. why the, the warfare is so intense yeah. because yeah. he knows who we are yeah. and yeah. he is trying to keep us distracted. Right. He wants right. us to become hopeless, fearful, yeah. Yeah. complacent, yeah. Right. all those things right. that keep us from walking you know, into our purpose. But, yeah. you know, I want to get back to this uh, call on your life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I've, I, that, that, that's, that's really interesting because one thing that I have found out now, here I am. Now, I never saw myself being an ordained minister. Sure. sure. Okay? I always thought because um, I've always loved music and, um, you know, early in my life, I, I, I did theater and music and, you know, that kind of stuff sure. when I lived in New York. But um, I just I never, you know, even when I left that industry and um, and just started to really uh, focus on, on the kingdom of God and, and, and what the Lord would have me do with this life. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't think that, you know, uh, that I would be an ordained minister. I re that one really caught me <laughs> like, I mean, I'm serious. And, and so, and the thing, and what I want to encourage people about is that don't look at your age or think that because I'm a certain age, I should have done this by now because, you know, mm. the Lord, he's ordering your steps. You know, and there are things about your life that he has to deal with in order for you to be, once you move into your purpose, that you are Amen. so rooted and grounded Amen. That, Amen. that you are able to stand because as you're walking in purpose, you know, I think the warfare gets even greater. No, no question about it. No uh, but question. here I am, I'm, Amen. you know, I get at, at 60 well, uh, you know, early 60, uh, no, no, I was, no, I was okay, ordained, okay, I was okay, ordained now, as we, a we, minister. You know, we, you know, we prayed, you can't be telling, I've seen you, you don't look no 60, so don't be telling people you 60, <laughs> that is, that's, that's just, we don't believe that at all, no one's going to believe that, stop. But, but you know, God, is, all I can say is God has been good to me, he's been Amen. kind, he's been kind Amen. to me. And I just thank him that uh, the life that I've gone through thus far is is not on my face, but the Amen. joy of the Lord is what 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 you see on my face Amen. because Amen. I am I'm telling you I'm grateful I'm Amen. grateful I know where my life could have ended Amen. I know Amen. where it could have gone oh, okay yeah. and I've I, watched I other people's lives go in that direction yeah, but yeah, God, yeah. but God. That's right. So tell That's me right. about this 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 call because well, you know in your songs your messages yeah. they it's almost like preaching. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, see now you and I are just the opposite. I could never see myself as an artist, as a musician artist. That was that I had no desire. I am not an out front type of guy. I'm a background, so I'm, I write songs and I produce and I'll be a musician. But as an artist, that's not what that's not what I'm interested in at all. Um, and I come from a long line of preachers. My grandfather, wow. my father, my brother, uh -huh. I come from a long line of Baptist preachers. So wow. I, I always knew preaching was something I'm God wanted me to do. But like I said, I had a bad feeling about ministers and pastors mm -hmm. because um the ones I knew, even my own father, had uh had let me down, had left our family mm -hmm. and and had remarried and started another family. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, what kind of preacher is that? <laughs> I don't right. that either, I would never <laughs> want to be that kind of preacher. So <laughs> so when I realized that I had a call on my life, I was I was headed towards that. I had joined my call on lives class, and that's where I was headed. I was fine with that. But God said, wait a minute. I've given you a lot of music. You've been writing a long time, and you've got music sitting in your studio and sitting in your house that you've never finished and never put out. <laughs> now, what you need to do before you jump to something else, I want you to finish that and put it out. 
And I argue with Lord for about a year and a half, like, Lord, wait a minute. I'm Lord, Oh, well, I'm I know not, how that turned out. Yeah, you yeah. know how that go. I'm, like, uh-huh, yeah, I'm yeah. like, Lord, I'm not the artist. Um, I'm not an artist, and I don't even I don't even sing. And he <laughs> said, I got a lot of artists that don't sing. <laughs> he said, oh, don't, yeah. Don't, Kirk Franklin doesn't sing. Duke Ellington didn't sing. Quincy exactly. Jones didn't sing. Let I have a lot you. of artists that sing. Just do what I tell That's the way he talks to me. Do what I tell you, dummy. <laughs> go ahead and finish and finish finish all that music that you have sitting. And that's that's what I've been doing. So I talked it over with my wife and we formed I Am Music Company to to release um our brand of, of inspirational gospel music. And I that's what I've been doing and this is our sixth album and our ten year wow. anniversary. Yeah, and yes. um it's I've exciting. been releasing it, and every <laughs> as as a song goes, every round goes higher and higher. We've Praise been God. nominated for awards, and we our music is all over the world. As you know, the technology has made it yes. a, a available that we have thousands and thousands of views on our YouTube page, and and Praise all God. of the music is going all over the world. And I'm so grateful what God has has been able to do. But that wasn't my plan. Um, I, wow. my plan was to, to, to preach, to teach the gospel and teach God's mm-hmm. word. But what I've come to understand, um, that there's so many ways to preach and yes. there's so many ways to teach what you're doing. You probably speak to more people on the air than the average church. Mm. I speak to more people uh, just in this interview alone. We probably mm-hmm. speak to a thousand people or five hundred mm-hmm. or six hundred people. Most churches don't have have maybe ten to fifteen twenty minutes members yes. on a Sunday, and uh, yeah. so there's so way so many ways to minister. And most of the time, we always think it's got to be in a pulpit, and that's just not true. There's so many people. I mean, you could be like I said earlier, you can be a nurse. And be ministering to your patients and patients praying with them and laying hands on them and helping them and leading them and teaching them to the gospel. And I, I was, I'm a retired federal police officer, and I mm-hmm. witnessed to so many of my coworkers and people that came along. I was able to minister to, and they were Praise calling God. me Reb and calling me preacher, you know. <laughs> and I wasn't, I wasn't ordained or anything. I was just telling the truth of the gospel and mm-hmm. what I knew about mm-hmm. the gospel at that time and music and and any type of of media is so very powerful Mm -hmm. Um, from these so many blogs and and music and cds and downloads and streaming and to be able to speak to people and tell them that jesus is the way or to give eternal praise or that he's worthy as the lamb and to be able to say that to people all over the world is a powerful, powerful thing. So I'm grateful. It is powerful. That, yeah, it really is. It really, really is. And God has shown me that um, that I, we can go forward with, with our gifts in a lot of different ways. We don't all have to be in a pulpit. And probably in a lot of places, that's one of the least places that we are. Um, yes, we can, yes. Yeah, we can, we can because be, I... Yeah, go ahead. We can be. In I was just about to say when you said we don't have to be in the pulpit, right. but there is okay. nothing. The, the instruction he said go out into, into the world, all the world, all the, world, all the corners. Go. Right? He didn't say mm-hmm. go into the pulpit. That's right. That's exactly. And we're right. all. That's right. We the word of God tells us that we are all, we are kings and priests. That's right. Which just means we're, we're ministers of the gospel. We're right. all ministers we, of the we, gospel. We're all called into the ministry of reconciliation. There and you we're go. We're all called to reconcile people back to Jesus. Thank we're you. We're born lost, and we all need to be reconciled back to Jesus. So we Thank all you, have that responsibility. So we have to try, and we use the gifts that we have. Some of us are just good talkers. Some of us are singers. Some of us are songwriters. Some of us are are, are communicators. Some of us are yes, journalists. Yeah. There's yes. so many things that we can do that we can, we can glorify God with our lives. So praise uh, God. I, I, yeah, praise I'm God. just I'm just thankful that He used used me and my little gift of, to to touch someone and to encourage someone with music because it's it's just been wonderful. 
Amen. Well, I'm going to take this moment and I'm going to play another one of your songs. And this song is on your uh, 10th anniversary um, CD. And uh, yeah, right. No Greater Love. And uh, it's a two disc CD and DVD. So that that's a that's a blessing right there. So this one is called Eternal Praise. Amen. Praise God. Amen. to God, eternal praise. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So this is a another one of the songs uh, off of um, Greater Love. Is it No, no greater, greater Love? love? Yes. No Greater no Love, love. Yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Your 10th yeah. your, your uh, anniversary. anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yes, collection. Yeah. yes. Now, you know, I was looking at that photograph of you sitting behind this big, this long fancy looking soundboard so you you so i mean you know how to work that thing 
I do. I do. do. I, I also have engineers, but but yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you do know do a little something work. about the board. Yeah, I uh-huh. do know a little something about it. A little bit it. Yeah, about mixing, uh, a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little bit. A little <laughs> bit, yeah. A few, al- a few of the songs on the album I mixed myself. Oh, um, did you? But I, okay. Yeah, and, but I use engineers that I've, I've been blessed to meet over the years that are, oh, praise that are God. now in the kingdom and doing a lot of kingdom work. And, uh, so Amen. I, yeah, Amen. Yeah. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Praise God. Yeah. That, and that's, that, I think that's a blessing to, um, to uh, connect in, in the yeah. body of Christ because we have everything that we need oh, everything. Uh, everything. within the body. Yeah. Every, I mean, everything, everything is already there. Yes, yeah, here. It's all here. We have everything we need. We just have to come together. Yes, absolutely. Is we, just absolutely. Pretend, we just don't want to come together for whatever reason. We we mm-hmm. let schisms and little minor st- stupid stuff divide us. I mean, stupid, when, childish. Yeah, yeah very childish, childish and very stupid stuff divide us when there's more that we have uh, alike than we have that's uh, different. So... We need to come together. And then, like I said, we have Jesus. That, Amen. That's the, that's the center glue that we all. That, that's the that whole that, real, Right. There you yeah, go. The, the Bible's real clear that we should be especially kind to those of the household of faith. Kind. So we especially should be, kind. we need to just come together with our brother and sister and support them. And whatever they're trying to do, whether we totally agree or we know everything about it, if, if it's lifting up Jesus, that's one of the things I've come to find out that bothered me about the music industry or the gospel music industry. When I mm-hmm. came in, I was under the impression that, hey, this is ministry, and if, you, if you're lifting up Jesus and, and it sounds good, everyone's going to play it. And I've right. come to find out that it's, that's just <laughs> not the case. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, there's more there's more clicks and and more payola and everything than it is even in the secular market. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of struggles, and that's why I thank God and always will be here for shows like yours and others that give local artists and independent artists an opportunity to for their music to be heard because there's so many Absolutely. times. Yeah, there's so many times where that's not available. So. Thank Amen. God for that, Amen. but uh, God still continues to open doors out of, and make yes, ways out of nowhere. Let me so, tell you. Um, Let me I'm tell you. Because if God is him. for you, who can be against there you, go. you? There you go. You just glory keep, to you God. Just have to keep going. Just keep glory going to God. Lord, that's right. Amen. And you know, and one of my passions uh, in, in this season is to um, exhort the word of God in a way that believers will begin to walk in their true identity because if we are walking in our true identity all this foolishness will disappear amen Amen. because that's 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 actually the old man and still in operation that's That's what you're seeing the old man is still in operation and we have not fully stepped in and that is because one of the things that keeps us acting like the old man is uh, loving this world system so much and emulating this world system. There you go. There you go. And that, that you, you hit it right on the head. We want to be so much like the world, and we want to yes. be so much with what they're doing and so much with their, at their popularity and their this and their that and their money and all that mm-hmm. stuff. That's the problem. You're exactly right. That's exactly right. Right, right. Exactly yes, right. but we have a far greater uh, work to do. And, um, so, I mean, that, like I said, that is one of my passions. One of my missions Amen. is Amen. to, uh, deliver a word through the airways that will, uh, propel believers into understanding that what we have is greater than what the yes. world has to offer. That's right. That is much greater. There's nothing we, ha- we have, we're the ones that have something to offer. That's right. That's right. I try to tell our young young people, dare to be different. Dare to be yes. the ones that, 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 that doesn't smoke the weed. and the, Dare to be the one that doesn't yes. sleep around. And dare to be the yes. one that doesn't tattoo their whole body up all up. And dare to be the one who, who's different because that's the one that's going to stand out. And you're yes. different because of Christ. When Christ Glory. is in you, he'll make you different. 
So you won't, you won't want those things. So you, know, That's right. you won't want to do those things. So That's right. um, because because you love God. So uh, amen, amen, yeah, so amen. Dare to be different, and and that's and that's what stands out. That's right, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So tell me a little bit more about your music. I am music company. Yes, just exactly um, what you're doing um, within that company. Yeah, we we are are totally independent. My wife and I started the company, and we run the company. We do. Mm-hmm. We we pay all the bills. It's all it's all <laughs> done in house. We write all the music. We we produce it, and I have some wonderful wonderful team of people that have come in to lend their support, and especially some of the singers like you hear. I think you know Adrian Goss. He sings yes. on a few of my songs, and mm-hmm. my 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 other of my. Uh, daughter uh, Tahisha Jones and mm-hmm. Charlita Claiborne they're singing and a lot of different singing my good friend who passed a few years ago Al Johnson sang a lot of the songs oh, uh-huh. on me he mm-hmm. also sang with Jeff Majors on the Psalm 23 you hear his voice yes 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 you hear, yes, yes, Jeff, yes, you hear yes. his voice on a lot of my stuff and and so a lot of people have come in to give their support and be a part of what we're doing but it's totally independent uh, it's funny praise God Mm-hmm. When God told me to do this, that was one another one of the things. I'm like, Lord, independent labels aren't. Little did I know that <laughs> these ten years later, independent music would make up almost half of the music industry. I, if I had known wow. what I know now, I would have done it even wow. further. Because independent wow. music has now blown up so large. There are so many independent radio stations, independent blog shows like yourself, and independent artists. Uh, like me and many others, um, it's just it's making up a big part of the music industry, such a big part that the major labels now are upset because independent music is as popular as the the uh, the yes. major labels. So yes. so um, yeah, so we I am music is a totally independent label. Um, I'm the artist, and you know what can I say? About that? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, God has I'm ordained you. And, yeah, um, and we continue to uh, release. Uh, I've got a few other projects that are still in the works that we're going to be releasing in the future, and we're oh, just going to continue to glorify God with music and give the message of Jesus Christ. The message uh, be an instrumental music. We've got some instrumental projects, and to encourage people. Um, I had a pastor tell me one day, he said, Doc, you you know, I preach to them on Sunday, but they need something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's where you come in. You know, when they're riding along in their car and they need some encouragement mm-hmm. for, to, yes. to make it back to me on Sunday. So they need some good music and they need something in their car. So I said, well, thank you, Pastor. So uh, that's that's what we do. We just want to have give some people an alternative that you can put in your radio. You don't have to worry about your kids listening to it or hearing something bad, and they can enjoy it and hear a good message of hope and a message of love and a message of God's love, More, most importantly. Amen. Yeah, and you know, as you were talking about that, about yeah. what that pastor said to you about um, um, they need something, you know, those days before they get back to yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, interesting enough when, you know, we and we know this from children that we learn very easily when something is put to music. Uh, uh, yes, we. Yes. You know, it's amazing. I mean, my, God designed us like that now. I, I think so, too. It's amazing. My mother uh, is a substitute teacher. And she would say, tell me how she tries to teach the children, and they have problems remembering what they said, mm-hmm. but they know every word to a rap record that's been played. Mm-hmm. They can go up and down a rap record, and she said, well, how can you guys know all that and don't know? <laughs> but because <laughs> it's, it's just to music, and, and actually if uh-huh. we use music more in our learning, they would learn quicker with that as well. Yes. Putting things to music helps. Music yes. is a very, very powerful medium. It's it, very it, powerful. It gets inside the soul. It gets inside the mind. It gets inside mm-hmm. you, and it, and it's powerful, and it, and it sticks with you. 
I would, you know, you have to catch yourself because if you were in the world, you might go in the store, you hear something. You, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, I think like, just a, oh, just, boy, I, I think that just a day they, was play, they were playing some, some of them oldies, but goodies. Right, exactly. And I, was, I was about to open you, my mouth and start right. singing. I was like, where did that come from? Because that's down in you. Music has the power. Yes to get down in you. So it's very important that we have good messages. And unfortunately, we have a lot of bad messages in music. And yes. that's what our young people are being yes. drawn to. And that's part of the reason why they're living some of the lives they live, because they're listening yes. to some, some, some negative things. So mm -hmm. we, we at I Am Music want to give an alternative and give them something positive with the message of Christ, the message of hope, the message of God's love, along with some fun things and some entertainment things and try to just yes. give people, give something, people something positive to, to listen to. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, and the other thing, too, is that to let our young people know that being safe is a joyous thing. You know, we, oh, yeah. we don't have to be uptight and, no, uh, no, you no. know, yeah. with a scowl on our faces and, yeah. Yeah. you know, and pointing our fingers and being judgmental. Right. You couldn't right. do this, you couldn't no, do that. Not that is not that is no. not what a believer is. No, it's not. It's very it's, it's definitely it's not. not. No, it's not. Yes. And 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 we have to really also I uh took a trip on a um down to the Caribbean mm -hmm. and I it was I went to a church service and they don't praise the same way we praise. That's they right. Got the Caribbean, got the, yeah, got that little that calypso thing going the on. Calypso thing going, <laughs> and and I said to myself, now, if I was bothered by that, I could hinder yes. their praise. I have to enjoy that just as the way I I would pray. There you go. So there we have to be open to, the, and and we have more diversity and more different cultures than ever before, and we have to make room and be acceptable of those different cultures as long as they're lifting up Jesus. We have Amen. To be acceptable of them. So praise God. Praise yeah, God. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to uh, stop. I'm going to play um, one more song off of off of this CD. Um, okay. The Lord's been good to me. Amen. Glory to God, because He certainly has been good to me. I don't yes. know about you, yes. but He's Amen. been good to me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. So glad that Jesus lifted me. Now I keep my mind fixed on thee. Lord, you keep me in perfect peace. And I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Great has been my faithfulness Coming in and going out I'm blessed And with my heart I believe in true righteousness And now I'm so glad He lifted me Giving me the victory Time after time The Lord's been good to me Yes, she has 
Bless you, brother. Amen. Amen. I want you to talk about how we can get this music. Well, of course, everything's online these days. Amen. Of course, you can go uh, to iTunes, Amazon, put in Derek Doc Pearson, and I will come up. And uh, you can download it there. But if you want the physical CD, you'd have to go to Amazon. You can order it from them. You can also order from CD Baby. CDbaby.com or Amazon.com. Just, oh, okay. just put it, type in Derek Doc Pearson, and I'll come up, and you can order it from them. And that way, you can get the DVD. We have a DVD. We did six music videos. Wow. And that's mm-hmm. on, um, and that's on the DVD as well. So it's a really good, it's a really good package. I was, um, I wanted, I just realized early this year. I look, started looking at the calendar. I'm like. It's been ten years. I released our first album in two thousand and five, mm-hmm. uh, and and now twenty fifteen. It's been a ten years, and God has kept us. Praise God. Uh, going all this, I never, I never even thought about ten years. I just was trying to put out the music and follow what <laughs> God had laid on my heart to do. And Amen. here I are, ten years later, and uh, God is still keeping us to to glorify Praise Him God. and continue to lift Praise Jesus God. up with our music. Praise so yeah, God. iTunes. Amazon, Google Play, uh, of course, you can always stream it at Pandora if you have those, Spotify, mm-hmm. it's all in all those places. So anywhere, just put in Derek Doc Pearson, and I should pop up somewhere and download it and enjoy. Amen, amen. amen. And he's also out on Facebook. I am Music Company's oh, yeah. out on Facebook, oh, yeah. and he, Facebook, he's out Twitter, on Twitter. All yeah. that stuff, yeah, all, the, yeah, all that yeah. stuff I'm available. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. amen. yeah, well, praise God. You know, I, I believe that, you know, this technology is for us. You know, oh, yeah. I, I mean, is. I had so many CDs, but now that um, I'm able to download, <laughs> you know, I, you know, oh, yeah. I... I download in a minute, you yeah, know, so yeah, I, you yeah. know, it's That's on my good. laptop, it's on my oh, cell yeah. phone, so, it's on my go. iPod, you know. There you go. There you go. That's what's happening exactly. now. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone um, is downloading and, and able to listen to music and, and on your phone and iPod. Yeah, you can connect so. it to, you know, and, and, if, yeah. and, and with the new cars, they've got all this technology in these cars and you can oh, just yeah. plug yeah. your phone oh, yeah. Right in there and play all that music right off yep. your phone. Right off your, your phone. Car. Yep, man, that's what's happening. So, so you could just go to iTunes and download any of those songs or download the whole album, and, and I, I promise you'll enjoy it. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And we will, uh, on our website, uh, listeners will be placing um, this information out there on our Facebook page so that you Great. will go out there and 
uh, just be blessed by the music as well as supporting um, uh, your brother in Christ. Glory Amen. to God in and and, and and what He's doing. And uh, so it's it's just it's it's wonderful. It is yeah. absolutely <laughs> wonderful, yeah, wonderful. And, as, and as a song you just played, God has been so good to us. Yes, He, he has. Loves us. He's given us Jesus. He's given us salvation. It's available to anyone who wants it. He's been so good to us, and we just need to recognize him and live so that someone else can recognize him. And yes. So, uh, we just we just yes. gonna keep keep going and keep lifting up Jesus Christ and everything we can do. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. So um we're going to um close our show but is there anything that you want to leave the believers there with the believers with and and maybe even someone who may be listening sure. that uh that does not know christ yeah um first first the ones that do we live in a time now as you and i were talking earlier we have to look unto jesus yes and we have to let there's so much darkness Tell, you don't have to wonder what the light is. You know, you can clearly yes. see the difference between God's way and the world's way. We can Amen. clearly see what the world's way is doing, and we can clearly see what God's way is doing. And, we, and so I would encourage those that don't know Jesus and don't have a relationship to him to give your heart to him. Amen. The Bible says that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So wherever right. you are, you can call on the, on the Lord you, wherever Jesus. you are. Right wherever. now you can call on him. And you can. Mm -hmm. uh, he hears you. His ears is inclined to you. And mm -hmm. find yourself a good Bible-believing and a Bible-teaching church. And I'm sure mm -hmm. Sister uh, Reverend Randall has plenty of suggestions on her site and, and things. And we can find mm -hmm. so much information. I would just encourage you that God loves you. God Amen. loves you. No matter what you've Lord. done, no matter what you've been through, God loves you, and he's there for us, and he's here for us. He cares for us. He tells us to cast our cares on him because he cares for us. He tells us all to come unto him that are heavy Amen. laden, and he would give us Amen. He Amen. is there for us. Amen. And so Amen. I would encourage every listener to put Jesus first in your life, and, and I promise you that your life will change no matter Glory. what you're going through. Be encouraged. I love you, and God loves you. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Praise Amen. God. Thank you again for being on, on with me uh, tonight. It has truly been a blessing and uh, just hearing your testimony and what the Lord has done in your life and that you are moving forward in, in, in what God, you may have been a little resistant in the beginning, Amen. but you caved in and threw Amen. up your hands and said, I surrender uh, whatever you want me to do. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And so I am so glad that I am music exists. Amen. I'm grateful Amen. that all those unpublished songs are being published. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen, Amen. Yes, to, to bless us. Well, Amen. listeners, I just, as we conclude, I want to just remind you that um, tomorrow we've got Declaring the Finished Work at 12 noon. And then on Friday, we've got Friday Night Joy with Reverend Ray and Friends. And then on Sunday, we've got a week in review with Reverend Ray, Glory to God. And also um, this Saturday, we've got um, our fourth Saturday show. Uh, which is um, Alabaster Box with uh, Prophet um, um, Carla Johnson. Glory to God. Amen. Pull that name out my head. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So thank you for being with us. God bless you. And we're going to end this with he's the way. And he is the only way. Yes, so God is. bless you, Doc. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Randall. Keep doing what you're doing. And anytime you need me or I can be on with oh, you, I'll don't be, hesitate. I'll be asking you to come back. 
No, there's no problem. I look forward to it. God bless you. Amen. You. Amen. Ne- listen, next time I may have you on here teaching the word. So be Amen. ready. Be Amen. ready. I mean, you, Glory I'm, to God. I'm, I, be ready. You, you do, I'm a phone call away. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. He's the way.